2021 Toyota Venza Limited Review, Stylish and Efficient. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 Toyota Venza is essentially just a nicer Toyota RAV4 hybrid. It rides atop the same modular platform, uses an identical electrified powertrain, and shares many corresponding key components. And those aren't necessarily dings against the Venza, in fact, the RAV4 hybrid is a great starting point. It is generally very nice to drive, with a 2.5-liter hybrid setup that's one of the most efficient in the business. But what the Venza gains in good looks and posh amenities over its boxier RAV sibling, it loses elsewhere. Even though it's longer overall, the Venza is actually smaller in some key areas, like overall passenger space and cargo room. The new technology is also pretty finicky, the performance suffers a bit, and the sharp looks and lush interior force a markup that makes the Venza nearly the most expensive option in the class. The Toyota Venza looks great. The front end wears slim headlights with LED flourishes that wrap around the large, mostly fake, grille. The side profile features sharp body lines that afford the SUV a tapered look, and the sloping roofline blends seamlessly into a svelte rear end. There's also a full-width LED light bar in the back that we quite like. Overall, the design looks very luxurious, if they'd told us it was a Lexus at launch, we'd have believed it. The cabin of the new Venza doesn't feel any less upscale. A unique mix of black and java brown faux leather covers the seats, center console, door panels, and dash, and it feels soft and supple like real cowhide. Trapezoidal accent trim adorns the armrest and portions of the center console, and there are some high-quality brushed aluminum elements dotted throughout. Really, the only thing we don't like visually is the 12.3-inch touchscreen, it looks hastily applied atop the dash and breaks the otherwise nice flow of the cabin. Maybe something embedded within the dash would have aided the look. Off the bat, we need to discuss dimensions. The Toyota Venza is what we'd call a tweener. Although it shares its platform with the smaller RAV4, the Venza is 186.6 inches long, which makes it nearly as big as mid-sizers like the Ford Edge, 188.8 inches, Chevrolet Blazer, 191.4 inches, or Nissan Murano, 192.4 inches. But in terms of overall passenger space, Toyota's crossover is actually on par with, or in some cases, smaller than, compact crossovers like the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CR-V, which is why we classify it as a compact hybrid cuff. The Venza's 38.6 inches of front headroom and 40.2 inches of front legroom are worse than the RAV's 39.5 inches of headroom and 41.0 inches of legroom. The Honda CR-V also has more space, with 40.1 inches of front headroom and 41.3 inches of legroom. The Venza's 39.0 inches of rear headroom and 37. 8 inches of legroom at virtually identical to the smaller RAV and slightly down compared to the CRV. Making matters worse, the Venza has less cargo room than the RAV4, 37.6 cubic feet versus 28.8 cubic feet. What we're saying is don't be fooled by the Venza's larger exterior. That said, the Venza doesn't feel cramped, it just isn't as spacious as its dimensions might suggest. The front compartment is airy with lots of surrounding glass, including a unique, $1,400 frosted moon roof, and the rear bench has a low seating position, which counteracts the sloping roof and makes it comfortable for average-sized adults. The seats in the Venza are great, too. Even though there is no leather option, the faux leather is soft and supple, and it offers solid support atop the well-shaped seat pads. The cushy suspension and inoffensive steering also make the Toyota Venza the perfect vessel for whiling away highway miles and puttering around town. The Pure F mode affords it a quiet and smooth demeanor at low speeds, and even though the transition between electric and gas can sound a bit harsh, the Venza's powertrain is exceptionally smooth otherwise. On the base Venza is a standard 8.0-inch touchscreen with baked-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, and a volume knob. We mention the volume knob specifically on the base setup because the Venza's larger 12.3-inch screen, standard on our limited tester and a $2,050 option on XLE, loses it entirely, and the system is worse off. Instead, it uses finicky touch capacitive controls that don't respond well to inputs and are difficult to use while driving. The setup also ditches the tuning knob in place of the same frustrating controls that are closer to the passenger than the driver. Toyota moved many of those buttons to the steering wheel at least, but now the steering wheel feels like a cluttered mess.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.